smoking now, and I'll never get to his neck. So it's this way. A few tips I like doing is, I don't keep my hand so much already like this, because if he can grab on the inside of my wrist, then it's hard for me to really get up, right? So I kind of like turn my wrist and I'm putting like that bone in the center of his chest. And I'm covering my hand. So look, as he's trying to like defend, since his hands are on top of my first hand, it's easy for me not to slide up. The computer volume. So it's like I'm sliding up to his neck, all right? That gives me that little bit of leverage. Put, put one hand. So just one so they can see. So if you notice how my wrist is, it gives me space to slide up versus if I was just here, I don't have that anymore. All right, so that's just a few tips. Over, under, the one that's over, I turn it, and then this one's covering the hand. And it's not so much like the bicep squeezing, it's kind of like your elbows and lats, right? If you notice, like, if, if I try to flex my arms, I'm like this, I'm actually flexing like my lats, I'm pushing my elbows together, and I'm right next to them. My heels, never lazy, we're tucking them in. So he kind of like feels like the inside of my thigh is squeezing him a little bit. Now, what we're gonna go into is when we fall, and he does start escaping to the point that I already, he already has his hips out, we have to make a decision real quick, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take their feet, I'm actually gonna walk away from him to where I'm almost like, almost like a north-south type position, get down to my stomach, and I start crawling up to my knees. I bring him up. Now, we can't take the back again. I can not just walk up if I wanted to, put a hook in and fall to the side. And then uh, this time when I fall, I'm ready to like stop the, the hip escape on him, right? Or sometimes I take my chance when we're up here and what I do is my shoulder I roll my shoulder behind his neck. So you notice how I'm making his head go down? I want to make his head do this as far as I can. So when we're here, my face is next to his. I'm rolling my shoulders and I just start walking back. And you'll get a tap right there. So if you guys think of it, it's kind of like when you're watching TV, right? And you're lazy, like how long can you like really like watch like this? Start you start cutting off your own breathing. So imagine having this right here, and you're doing that, all right? It, it hurts, it's not so much of a choke, more like it hurts, right? Yeah. So again, I'm here, we went down, started escaping, that's it. I don't have a chance to get a hook in. I'm gonna walk away, go down to my stomach, crawl up. I bring them up, can't, we can re-enter the hooks, um, for me, it's, it feels more easier to go on this side and put my hook in, or what we're gonna try to do is the finish. Again, I'm staying right here, I'm not behind him. I'm staying right here next to him, it's like his ears next to my ear. I'm rolling that shoulder forward, and I start walking back. As I walk back, I'm squeezing my elbows together. Okay? So it's kind of like you're compressing everything and getting like a, some, I don't know what it is, like a neck crank? Yeah, it? yeah. So like a neck crank, all right? So if you guys gotta warm up a little, warm up your necks, all right? Any questions? Let's do it on three. One, two.